The Alabama Crimson Tide football program represents the University of Alabama, variously Alabama, UA, or Bama in the sport of American football. The team competes in the Football Bowl Subdivision (FBS) of the National Collegiate Athletic Association (NCAA) and the Western Division of the Southeastern Conference (SEC). The team is currently coached by Nick Saban. The Crimson Tide is among the most storied and decorated football programs in NCAA history. Since beginning play in 1892, the program claims 17 national championships, including 12 wire service AP or coaches national titles in the pole era, and five other titles before the pole era. From 1958 to 1982, the team was led by Hall of Fame coach Paul Bear Bryant, who won six national championships with the program. Despite numerous national and conference championships, it was not until 2009 that an Alabama player received a Heisman Trophy, when running back Mark Ingram became the university's first winner. In 2015, Derrick Henry became the university's second Heisman winner. Alabama has 904 official victories in NCAA Division I, an additional 21 victories were vacated, and eight victories and one tie were forfeited, has won 31 conference championships, four Southern Conference and 27 SEC championships, and has made an NCAA record 64 postseason bowl appearances. Other NCAA records include 23 winning streaks of 10 games or more and 19 seasons with a 10-0 start. The program has 34 seasons with 10 wins or more plus one vacated, and has 40 bowl victories, both NCAA records. Alabama has completed 10 undefeated seasons, nine of which were perfect seasons. The Crimson Tide leads the SEC West Division with 14 division titles and 12 appearances in the SEC Championship game. Alabama holds a winning record against every current and former SEC school. The Associated Press AP ranks Alabama fourth in all-time final AP poll appearances, with 53 through the 2015 season. Alabama plays its home games at Bryant-Denny Stadium, located on the campus in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. With a capacity of 101,821, Bryant-Denny is the eighth-largest non-racing stadium in the world and the seventh-largest stadium in the United States. Topic History Topic Head Coaching History Alabama has had twenty eight head coaches since organized football began in eighteen ninety two. Adopting the nickname Crimson Tide after the 1907 season, the team has played more than 1,100 games in their 114 seasons. In that time, 12 coaches have led the Crimson Tide in postseason bowl games, Wallace Wade, Frank Thomas, Harold D. Red. Drew, Bear Bryant, Ray Perkins, Bill Curry, Gene Stallings, Mike Dubose, Dennis Francioni, Mike Shula, Joe Kynes, and Nick Saban. Eight of those coaches also won conference championships, Wade, Thomas, Drew, Bryant, Curry, Stallings, Dubose, and Saban. During their tenures, Wade, Thomas, Bryant, Stallings, and Saban all won national championships with the Crimson Tide. Of the 27 different head coaches who have led the Crimson Tide, Wade, Thomas, Bryant, and Stallings have been inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. The current head coach is Nick Saban, who was hired in January 2007. Topic: National Championships. National championships in NCAA FBS college football are debated as the NCAA does not officially award the championship. Despite not naming an official national champion, the NCAA provides lists of championships awarded by organizations it recognizes. According to the official NCAA 2009 Division I Football Records book, 
During the last 138 years, there have been more than 30 selectors of national champions using polls, historical research and mathematical rating systems. Beginning in 1936, the Associated Press began the best known and most widely circulated poll of sports writers and broadcasters. Before 1936, national champions were determined by historical research and retroactive ratings and polls. The criteria for being included in this historical list of poll selectors is that the poll be national in scope, either through distribution in newspaper, television, radio and or computer online. Since World War II, Alabama only claims national championships awarded by the final AP poll or the final coaches poll. This policy is consistent with other FBS football programs with numerous national title claims, including Notre Dame, USC, and Oklahoma. All national championships claimed by the University of Alabama were published in nationally syndicated newspapers and magazines, and each of the national championship selectors, and are cited in the official 2010 NCAA FBS record book. In addition to the championships claimed by the university, the NCAA has listed Alabama as receiving a championship for the 1945, 1966, 1975, and 1977 college football seasons. In Alabama's 1982 Media Guide, the last for Coach Bryant, 1934 is listed as the only national championship before Coach Bryant in a footnote about the school's SEC history. In the 1980s, Alabama's sports information director Wayne Atchison started recognizing five pre-Bryant national championship teams 1925, 1926, 1930, 1934, 1941 by adding them to the university's football media guide. According to Atchison, he made the effort in the context of disputed titles being claimed by other schools, and to make Alabama football look the best it could look. To compete with the other claimants. Atchison maintains that the titles are the school's rightful claims. The University of Alabama 2009 official football media guide states that Alabama had 12 national championships prior to winning the 2010 BCS national championship game. The 2009, 2011, 2012, 2015, and 2017 titles bring the total number of national championships claimed by Alabama to 17. Twelve of Alabama's national championships were awarded by the Wire Services AP, Coaches Poll or by winning the BCS National Championship game. In January 2013, CNN suggested that Alabama might be college football's new dynasty, and in May 2013, Athlon Sports ranked Alabama's ongoing dynasty as the fourth best since 1934, behind Oklahoma 1948-58, Miami 1986 to 92 and Nebraska 1993 to 97 Topic National Championship Seasons 1925 The 1925 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Wallace Wade, completed the regular season 9-0-0, winning the Southern Conference Championship. Alabama was then invited to play Washington in the January 1, 1926 Rose Bowl. Coach Wade's team initially fell behind the undefeated Huskies, but rallied in the second half to defeat Washington 20-19. The outstanding player of the game was Johnny Mac Brown. This game is viewed by many football historians as the single most important event for Southern football, and is hailed the football game that changed the South. Alabama was the first Southern football team to be invited to play in the Rose Bowl, and proved that the Southern teams could compete with those from the East, the Midwest and the West Coast. The victory for Coach Wallace Wade established Alabama as a football powerhouse. The 1925 Alabama football team finished the season with a 1-0-0-0 record and was selected national champion by the football annual, Billingsley, and the Helms Athletic Foundation. 
1926 The 1926 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Wallace Wade, completed the regular season 9-0-0, winning the Southern Conference Championship. Alabama was then invited to play Stanford in the January 1, 1927 Rose Bowl. Coach Wade's team tied the Indians 7-7 to finish the season 9-0-1. The outstanding player of the game was Fred Pickard. The 1926 Alabama football team was selected national champion by Billingsley and the Helms Athletic Foundation. 1930 The 1930 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Wallace Wade, completed the regular season 9-0-0, winning the Southern Conference Championship. Alabama was then invited to play Washington State in the January 1, 1931 Rose Bowl. Coach Wade's team defeated the Cougars 24-0 to finish the season 1-0-0-0. The outstanding player of the game was John Campbell. The 1930 Alabama football team tied with Notre Dame as national champions in the Davis Poll. 1934 The 1934 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Frank Thomas, completed the regular season 9-0-0, winning the Southeastern Conference Championship. Alabama was then invited to play Stanford in the January 1, 1935 Rose Bowl. Coach Thomas's team defeated the Indians 29-13 to finish the season 1-0-0-0. The outstanding player of the game was Millard Dixie Howell. The 1934 Alabama football team was selected national champion by Dunkel, Williamson, and Football Thesaurus. The University of Alabama honored Ben McLeod Jr., the 95-year-old former backup end of the 1934 team at the September 6, 2008 Alabama-Tulane game. 1941 The 1941 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Frank Thomas, completed the regular season 8-2-0. Alabama's squad finished third in the Southeastern Conference. After losing to Mississippi State 14-0 and Vanderbilt, 7-0, Alabama finished the regular season ranked number 20 in the AP poll, which was the finalized with two games left in the regular season. The onset of World War II changed the college football postseason. Alabama was one of ten teams chosen for postseason competition when they were invited to play Texas A&M in the January 1, 1942 Cotton Bowl Classic. Coach Thomas's team defeated the Aggies 29-21 to finish the season 9-2-0. Minnesota, the AP national champion, finished 8-0 and did not play in a bowl game per Big Ten rules. Alabama's outstanding players of the game were Holt Rast, Don Whitmire, and Jimmy Nelson. The squad was selected national champions by the Holgate Poll, published in the nationally syndicated football thesaurus. The 2009 NCAA record book cites the Minnesota Golden Gophers, the Texas Longhorns, and the Alabama Crimson Tide as the three teams selected as national champions in 1941. The Tuscaloosa News described the 1941 Alabama Crimson Tide as the university's best team since the 1934 Rose Bowl championship team. The September 11, 1967 issue of Sports Illustrated lists Alabama's 1941 squad as national champion based on Alabama's strength of schedule relative to Minnesota's and because of the early final AP poll. 1961 The 1961 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Bear Bryant, completed the regular season 1-0-0-0, winning the Southeastern Conference Championship. Led by quarterback Pat Trammell, linebacker Lee Roy Jordan and two-way lineman Billy Neighbors, Alabama outscored their opponents 297-25. Alabama was then invited to play the number no. 9 ranked Arkansas Razorbacks in the January 1, 1962 Sugar Bowl. Coach Bryant's team defeated the Razorbacks 10 3 to finish the season 1 1 0 0. The outstanding player of the game was Mike Fraccia. The 1961 Alabama football team was selected national champion by the AP poll and coaches poll. 
1964 The 1964 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Bear Bryant, completed the regular season 1-0-0-0, winning the Southeastern Conference Championship. Alabama was led by quarterback Joe Namath. Alabama was then invited to play the Texas Longhorns in the January 1, 1965 Orange Bowl. Coach Bryant's team lost to the Longhorns 21-17 to finish the season 1-0-1-0. The outstanding player of the game was Joe Namath. The 1964 Alabama football team was selected national champion by the AP poll and the coaches poll prior to bowl games. The AP poll waited until after the bowl games to select their champion for the 1965 season. 1965 The 1965 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Bear Bryant, completed the regular season 8-1-1, winning the Southeastern Conference Championship. The Tide lost to Georgia and tied Tennessee during the regular season. Alabama was then invited to play Nebraska in the January 1, 1966 Orange Bowl. Coach Bryant's team defeated the Cornhuskers 39-28 to finish the season 9-1-1. The outstanding player of the game was Steve Sloan. The 1965 Alabama football team was selected national champion by the AP poll. 1973 The 1973 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Bear Bryant, completed the regular season 1-1-0-0, winning the Southeastern Conference Championship. Alabama was then invited to play Notre Dame in the December 31, 1973 Sugar Bowl. Coach Bryant's team lost to the Fighting Irish 24-23 to finish the season 1-1-1-0. The 1973 Alabama football team was selected national champion in the final regular season coaches poll, which was finalized prior to the postseason bowl games. The coaches poll began selecting their champion after the bowl game starting in 1974. The post-bowl game AP poll ranked Alabama fourth, and selected Notre Dame as its national champion. 1978 The 1978 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Bear Bryant, completed the regular season 1-0-1-0, winning the Southeastern Conference Championship. The Tide defeated No. 10-ranked Nebraska 20-3, and defeated No. 11-ranked Missouri 38-20, and lost to No. 7-ranked Southern California 24-14, during the regular season. The number two ranked Alabama Crimson Tide was then invited to play the number one ranked Penn State in the January 1, 1979 Sugar Bowl. Coach Bryant's team defeated the Nittany Lions 14 7 to finish the season 1 1 1 0. The outstanding player of the game was linebacker Barry Krause. Alabama was selected national champion by the AP poll, and Southern California was selected national champion by the coaches poll. 1979 The 1979 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Bear Bryant, completed the regular season 1-1-0-0, winning the Southeastern Conference Championship. The Tide defeated No. 18-ranked Tennessee 27-17, and defeated No. 14-ranked Auburn 25-18 during the regular season. Alabama was then invited to play No. 6-ranked Arkansas in the January 1, 1980 Sugar Bowl. Coach Bryant's team defeated the Razorbacks 24-9 to finish the season 1-2-0-0. The outstanding player of the game was running back Major Ogilvy. The 1979 Alabama football team was selected national champion by the AP poll and the coaches poll. 1992 The 1992 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Gene Stallings, completed the regular season 1-1-0-0. They then defeated No. 12-ranked Florida in the inaugural SEC Championship game, defeating the Gators 28-21. The win gave Alabama its 20th SEC title and a record of 1-2-0-0.
Alabama was then invited to play number one ranked Miami, led by Heisman Trophy winner Gino Toretta, in the January 1, 1993 Sugar Bowl. Coach Stallings' team defeated the Hurricanes 34-13 to finish the season 1-3-0-0. The outstanding player of the game was Derek Lassick. The 1992 Alabama football team was awarded the national championship by the AP Poll and the Coaches Poll. 2009 The 2009 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Nick Saban, finished with a 12-0 regular season. In the 12 wins, the Crimson Tide defeated four teams that were ranked at the time, including an opening day victory over No. 7 Virginia Tech in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game. The team headed back to the Georgia Dome in December to face off against No. 1 Florida in the SEC Championship game. The Crimson Tide defeated the Gators 32-13 in a rematch of the previous year's championship. Alabama then traveled to Pasadena to face No. 2 ranked Texas in the 2010 BCS National Championship game at the Rose Bowl. Alabama's Heisman Trophy winning running back, Mark Ingram, rushed for 116 yards and two touchdowns in a 37-21 win. This was Alabama's first victory over Texas 1-7-1. Ingram was named the game's offensive MVP in Alabama's first BCS victory. The 2009 Alabama football team was selected national champion by the AP and coaches polls. The 2009 squad became the first FBS division team to defeat six teams ranked in the AP Top 25 during one season and received a record six first-team AP All-America selections. The 2009 team finished with a perfect 14-0 record, an all-time highest number of wins in a season for Alabama. 2011 The 2011 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Nick Saban, completed the regular season 11-1. The only loss of the season was to LSU in overtime 9-6. The team did not play in the SEC championship game because of that loss, but won convincingly in its final three regular season games and earned a number two ranking in the BCS poll. For their final regular season game, Alabama defeated rival Auburn 42-14. Alabama, led by Heisman Trophy finalist Trent Richardson, then qualified to play No. 1 ranked LSU in the 2012 BCS National Championship game. Coach Saban's team defeated the Tigers 21-0 and finished the season 12-1. Jeremy Shelley had a bowl record tying five field goals in the game, and the game's offensive MVP was A.J. McCarron, and the defensive MVP was Courtney Upshaw. With the win, Alabama became the first team to shut out its opponent in a BCS bowl game. In addition to winning the BCS national championship, the AP also awarded its national title to Alabama for the eighth time. 2012 The 2012 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Nick Saban, completed the regular season 11-1. The only loss of the season was against Texas A&M 29-24. Despite the loss, Alabama won the SEC Western Division and went to the 2012 SEC Championship game, where they defeated Georgia 32-28 for the 23rd Conference Championship in school history. Alabama earned a number two ranking in the final BCS rankings for the second straight year and as a result qualified for the 2013 BCS National Championship game against number one Notre Dame. Alabama defeated the Fighting Irish 42-14, finished the season 13-1, and the game's offensive MVP was Eddie Lacy, and the defensive MVP was C.J. Mosley. Alabama became the third team in history to win three national championships in a four-year period. This was Alabama's ninth AP National Championship and tenth Wire Service Championship. 2015 The 2015 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Nick Saban, finished the regular season 11-1. Their only loss was to Ole Miss 43-37. 
They won the SEC Western Division title with a record of 7-1, defeating rivals LSU and Tennessee en route, and then defeated Florida 29-15 in the SEC Championship. Alabama returned to the playoffs for the second consecutive season. After falling short in the semifinals against Ohio State in 2014, Alabama defeated the Michigan State Spartans 38-0 in the Cotton Bowl to advance to the championship game. Alabama beat the Clemson Tigers 45-40 and won the 2015 FBS National Championship. Alabama's Heisman Trophy winning running back Derrick Henry rushed for 158 yards and three touchdowns. This victory gave coach Nick Saban his fifth national title, including four in the last seven seasons. 2017 The 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide football team, coached by Nick Saban, finished the regular season 11-1. Their only loss was at Auburn 26-14. They won a share of the SEC Western Division title with a record of 7-1. Alabama returned to the playoffs for the fourth consecutive season. Alabama avenged the previous season's only loss in the national championship game to Clemson with a 24-6 win in the Sugar Bowl. The Tide advanced to the championship game for the third year in a row. Alabama defeated SEC opponent Georgia 26-23 in overtime. The victory gave Nick Saban his sixth national title, tying him with Paul W. Bryant for most all-time. It's also Alabama's fifth title in the last nine seasons. Topic. Conference championships Alabama has won a total of 31 conference championships, this includes four Southern Conference and 27 SEC championships. Alabama captured its four Southern Conference titles in 1924, 1925, 1926, and 1930. Alabama captured the first SEC title in 1933 and has won a total of 26 SEC championships 1933, 1934, 1937, 1945, 1953, 1961, 1964, 1965, 1966, 1971, 1972, 1973, 1974, 1975, 1977, 1978, 1979, 1981, 1989, 1992, 1999, 2009, 2012, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2018. The school has won more SEC football titles than any other school, including seven since the conference split into separate divisions and added the championship game in 1992. Alabama is the only SEC school to win an SEC championship in every decade since the conference was founded in 1933. Topic. Divisional championships The SEC has been split into two divisions since the 1992 season. Alabama competes in the SEC West. Alabama has won or shared 14 division titles, and has posted a 8-4 record in the SEC championship game as of 2018. Topic. Individual accomplishments Topic. First Team All-Americans Every year, several publications release lists of their ideal team. The athletes on these lists are referred to as All-Americans. The NCAA recognizes five All-American lists. They are the Associated Press AP, American Football Coaches Association AFCA, Football Writers Association of America FWAA, Sporting News TSN, and the Walter Camp Football Foundation WCFF. 
Alabama has had 131 players honored 153 times as first-team All-Americans 74 consensus in its history, including 18 players honored twice and two players Cornelius Bennett and Woodrow Lowe who were honored three times as a first-team All-American. The most recent All-Americans from Alabama came after the 2018 season, when Tua Tungavailoa, Jerry Judy, Jonah Williams, Ross Piercebaker, Quinnen Williams Williams and Deontay Thompson were each named First Team All-America by various selectors. <laughs> <laughs> College Football Hall of Fame inductees In 1951, the College Football Hall of Fame opened in South Bend, Indiana. Since then, Alabama has had 21 players and four former coaches inducted into the Hall of Fame. Alabama had two members inducted into the inaugural 1951 class. Don Hudson and Frank Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Award winners Overall Topic Positional Topic Other Topic Coaching Topic Heisman Trophy On December 12, 2009, Mark Ingram became Alabama's first Heisman Trophy winner. In the closest race ever, he edged out Stanford running back Toby Gerhardt by 28 points. Other notable finishes for an Alabama player occurred in 1993, when David Palmer finished third in the Heisman voting and when A.J. McCarron finished as runner-up for the 2013 season. Derrick Henry became Alabama's second Heisman Trophy winner on December 12, 2015. Top 5 Finishes for Alabama Players Topic. SEC Legends. Starting in 1994, the Southeastern Conference has annually honored one former football player from each of the SEC member schools as an SEC legend. The following former Crimson Tide football players have been honored as SEC legends. Topic: <laughs> Rivalries. Topic. Auburn The main rivalry of the Crimson Tide is against its in-state rival, Auburn University, considered one of the top rivalries in all of sports. The Alabama-Auburn game has come to be known as the Iron Bowl. The outcome of the game generally determines bragging rights in the state of Alabama until the following contest. The game may also have implications as to which team will represent the SEC Western Division in the SEC Championship game. On February 22, 1893, at Lakeview Park in Birmingham, Auburn was victorious in the first-ever Iron Bowl, 32-22. The series was suspended after the 1907 contest, due to violence and financial complications. In 1944, Auburn suggested to reopen the series, though the Board of Trustees at Alabama rejected. The series was resumed in 1948, with Alabama crushing the Tigers 55-0, which is still the largest margin of victory in the series. In the following contest, Auburn shocked Alabama with a 14-13 victory, which is credited with helping revive the series. For many years, the contest was held at Legion Field in Birmingham, before the teams began alternating between Bryant-Denny Stadium, in Tuscaloosa, and Jordan-Hare Stadium, in Auburn. 
Alabama won the recent meeting 52-21 in Tuscaloosa and currently leads the series at 4-6-3-6-1. Tennessee Despite the heated in-state rivalry with Auburn, Bear Bryant was more adamant about defeating his rivals to the north, the Tennessee Volunteers. The series is named the third Saturday in October, the traditional calendar date on which the game was played. Despite the name, the game has only been played on the third Saturday five times between 1995-2007. The first game between the two sides was played in 1901 in Birmingham, ending in a 6-6 tie. From 1902 to 1913, Alabama dominated the series, only losing once, and never allowing a touchdown by the Volunteers. Beginning in 1928, the rivalry was first played on its traditional date and began to be a challenge for the Crimson Tide as Robert Nayland began challenging Alabama for their perennial spot on top of the conference standings. In the 1950s, Jim Gustry, the head trainer for Alabama, began another tradition as he began handing out cigars following a victory over the Volunteers. Between 1971-1981, Alabama held an 11-game winning streak over the Volunteers and, between 1986-1994, a 9-game unbeaten streak. However, following Alabama's streak, Tennessee responded with a seven-game winning streak from 1995 to 2001. Alabama has won the last 12 meetings from 2007 to 2018, a new record. Alabama won the most recent meeting 58-21 in Knoxville, and leads the series 5-6-3-8-7. Topic. LSU A rivalry within the SEC Western Division occurs yearly between Alabama and the LSU Tigers. Starting in 1895, the Tigers were victorious 12-6 in the first meeting. The teams did not regularly meet until the mid-1960s during Alabama's dominance of the SEC. Between 1971-1981, the Crimson Tide won 11 consecutive times. In the 1969 game, LSU defeated Alabama 20-15 in Baton Rouge. Alabama did not lose again in Baton Rouge until 2000. In 2007, the meeting was more heated following Alabama's hiring of head coach Nick Saban, who previously coached at LSU. With the hiring, many media outlets dubbed the 2007 meeting as the Sabin Bowl. The Crimson Tide lost the first Sabin Bowl in 2007, won the 2008 and 2009 meetings only to lose in Baton Rouge in 2010. In 2011, the teams played as the consensus number one and number two ranked teams in the polls with LSU winning 9-6 in overtime. They played each other again for the BCS National Championship with Alabama winning 21-0 to secure its 14th national championship. Alabama won the most recent meeting 29-0 in Baton Rouge and leads the head-to-head -head series 5-3-2-5-5. Other rivalries Alabama's most played opponent is Mississippi State. The rivalry has been called the Battle for Highway 82, with the schools separated by only about 90 miles. Alabama has dominated the series with wins in 83 of the 103 meetings. Alabama also maintains a rivalry with the Ole Miss Rebels. It is one of the most lopsided rivalries in college football, with Alabama having won 53 of the 65 meetings. In recent years, Alabama has developed what some consider to be a rivalry with the Clemson Tigers. In the build-up to the 2018 Sugar Bowl, players and coaches from both teams referred to the series as a respectful rivalry. There are numerous connections between the two programs. 
Clemson's top three winningest head coaches, Frank Howard, Dabo Swinney, and Danny Ford, all played at Alabama, as did Clemson coaches Hootie Ingram and Charlie Pell. Alabama and Clemson have played first in 1900 and most recently in 2018, with Alabama winning 14 of the 18 games. The series escalated into a rivalry when the teams met in the college football playoff in the 2015, 2016, and 2017 seasons. Topic: <laughs> Former rivalries. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets were at one time considered Alabama's arch rival. During the suspension of the Iron Bowl between 1907 and 1948, Georgia Tech, then a member of the SEC, emerged as the most intense game on Alabama's schedule. The teams played many significant games, especially in the late 1950s and early 1960s. A heated feud developed between Bear Bryant and Georgia Tech head coach Bobby Dodd following a controversial hit in the 1961 game, a 10-0 Alabama victory. Dodd cited this feud as the primary impetus for Georgia Tech leaving the SEC three years later. The two teams have met 52 times, making Georgia Tech Alabama's most played among current non-conference opponents. Alabama leads the series 2-8-2-1-3, Georgia Tech won the last meeting in 1984. Alabama's fight song, Yay Alabama, mentions Georgia Tech with the line, Send those yellow jackets to a watery grave. There have been many historic games between Alabama and Penn State. The two teams met five times during the tenure of Bear Bryant, including in the 1979 Sugar Bowl, which determined the national championship for the 1978 season. The games usually have national implications. Seven of the 15 meetings between the two schools have featured both teams ranked in the top 10 and eight of the meetings have been decided by a touchdown or less. The most recent game was in 2011, with Alabama winning 27-11. It was the final loss for longtime Penn State head coach Joe Paterno. Alabama leads the series 10-5. Equals <laughs> equals <laughs> all-time record versus current SEC teams equals <laughs> equals Official record including any NCAA imposed vacates and forfeits against all current SEC opponents as of the completion of the 2018 season. Topic: <laughs> Bowl games. This is a partial list of the 10 most recent bowl games Alabama competed in. For the full Alabama Bowl game history, see List of Alabama Crimson Tide Bowl games. Overall bowl record, 4-0-2-5-3, 68 games. Topic. Alabama and the NFL Topic. Pro Football Hall of Fame Eight former Alabama football players have been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, the fourth most among all colleges. Topic. Currently in the National Football League Topic. Coaching staff Topic. Media During the football season, the Crimson Tide Sports Network CTSN broadcasts multiple shows on game day for most sports. The network includes more than 60 radio stations across the country. Radio stations WFFN-FM, WTSKAM as a backup, broadcast all home games in the Tuscaloosa area. Football radio broadcasts begin three hours prior to the game's designated kickoff time with Chris Stewart and Tyler Watts in around the SEC. 
The radio broadcast then moves to the Crimson Tide tailgate party hosted by Tom Roberts. Immediately following the end of the game, the fifth quarter show begins as host Eli Gold talks to coaches and players and gives game statistics. For the 2008 season, former Alabama players and personalities were brought on to provide guest commentary for each broadcast. Current radio staff Eli Gold, play-by-play -play. John Parker Wilson, color analyst Rashad Johnson, sideline reporter Chris Stewart, Tyler Watts, pre- and post-game show co-host Tom Roberts, director of broadcasting Tom Stipe, Butch Owens, Brian Roberts, producer Stewart and Watts also provide play-by-play -play and color commentary respectively for CTSN pay-per-view television broadcasts. Former radio staff Burt Bank, founder of the Alabama Football Network, producer emeritus John Forney, play-by-play -play. Jerry Duncan, sideline reporter Paul Kennedy, play-by-play -play. Doug Layton, color analyst Ken Stabler, color analyst Topic. Future opponents Topic. Non-division conference opponents Alabama plays Tennessee as a permanent non-division opponent annually and rotates around the East Division among the other six schools. Non-conference opponents Source, the 2018 game against Louisville will be part of the Camping World kickoff held at Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Florida. The 2019 game against Duke will be part of the Chick-fil-A kickoff game held at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. The 2020 game against USC will be part of the Advocare Classic held at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The 2021 game against Miami will be part of the Chick-fil-A kickoff game held at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Topic. See also Alabama Crimson Tide Home Football Stadiums University of Alabama Traditions Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>